updating <coughs> what I <coughs> turned into the dark room. Hello users of YouTube and welcome to yet a new episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc and the GoFundMe campaign guys. Well, as of when I make this video, we had just finished the campaign. Yep, literally, as of when I made this video, we had finally reached the campaign of $175 and I cannot thank you guys enough. And I'm really excited to having shown you guys this episode because this episode of the GoFundMe and Daniel's Videos and Etc, I'm going to be talking about the negatives that came back from the darkroom. Um, Fortunately, I won't be able to be talking about the negatives that came back from um, Dominion Camera. Uh, I can talk about them, but I can't show them to you because I do not have them. They're at school. Because so I'm scanning them in the computer as, uh, yeah, when I'm not in school, I will scan them in the computer when possible. Well, anyway, guys, today I'm going to show you guys the negatives. Uh, basically, the negatives that came back from, uh, um, what is it called? The negatives that came back from the darkroom. The one packet I sent in that one uh, day when I went for a walk to uh, Dominion Camera. Um, so those are the negatives finally came back in the mail, and I'll go show you guys what exactly it is I got. And later in the video, you guys will see me drop off the last package, and it'll be sent to the darkroom. It's going to be about pretty early in the morning when I do this, because tomorrow I don't have school. And the day I make this video is Wednesday. So it's not Wednesday. I'm sorry. The day I make this video is Thursday, and tomorrow is Friday. And I get no school tomorrow. So I'm going to wake up early in the morning and deliver the package just because I feel like it. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So right here is my film negatives binder, but here we go. This is the uh, pictures that were taken from um, uh, Skyline Drive and a few family photos. I'm going to go over them deeply, uh, very uh, quickly, but here you go, guys. These are some of the 120 negatives. Uh, these are um, uh, from, in fact, the trip to, uh, on Skyline Drive. This is Holga 120 uh, brand, um, 120 sized 400 speed uh, film. So this is the images that come out and they look pretty good. Pictures will be uploaded um, on Facebook and uh, Twitter, not Twitter actually, Facebook and um, and uh, people who subscribe, you guys will have exclusive access to these pictures. And so, yeah. Oh, by the way, the guy that helped us finish off the campaign after I did the uh, uh, post about the Dominion camera trip um, was George uh, M. Uh, M. We'll call him. Um, George helped me us finish the campaign, and now it is done. Um, he just simply donated twenty more dollars, and it was done. That's it. And I was able to send in the last roll of film for development. Last, and I'm able to send the last packet in. Now we got. Um, Another Ants picture, Lake Erie trip with Ann, uh, with Ann, number four. This is using Arista Ultra 100. This is school film, film we use at school. It's just some family pictures of the beach, Lake Erie. Um, nothing interesting. Nothing too interesting to you guys, but a little interesting to me as it is my family pictures. And uh, but these photos came out great. Darkroom does a great job. Um, I really recommend their services. Uh, they do all sorts of formats. They do 620, 110. Um, I actually do have a roll of 110 film I'm going to send in soon because, um, uh, well, I, I got a Minolta. I'm going to do a video on this, but it's a Minolta Weathermatic camera, and it, it takes 110 film, and I bought a roll of Lomography brand uh, 110 color film. So I'll take and make a video about it, and I will tell you guys about that later. And... Um, Continuing on, 
Is this the picture? Yeah. Um, now, here we go. We got another Skyline Drive Roll, Arista Ultra 100, yet again. Um, a few of these are underexposed. I could have sworn this was, oh, I'm sorry, 200, yeah. This is 200 speed. I actually tried taking a picture of a deer in these pictures. We were almost on the tippy top of the mountain. That's why we were going through this forest. I think that was it. Um, and there's a picture of the sky, um, trees, uh, more sky pictures, sky, sky, tippy to some top of the mountain, and more tops of the mountain, and there's my, me? I think that's the Facebook picture I changed my face into. It doesn't look like it, though. Uh, that might be the uh, updated Facebook picture I talked to you guys about on Facebook the day before I uploaded the update video. Um, here we go. Oh, I did not put the brand of film on this one. Oh, yeah, because it is shown on here. Uh, these pictures are taken with a more premium brand you guys may have heard of, and this is Ilford um, Delta Professional 100-speed film. This is their professional series, Delta Film. Uh, it has a triangle on it. Made a video about this kind of film, I think. Either that or I'm about to release one. But these are some more family pictures. on the. This is on the tippy, tippy, tippy top of the mountain, the tallest point in Skyline Drive. And it was a freaking tall mountain. I uh, took a lot of pictures of it, and they're negatives right now, but they will become positives, and you guys will see them on Flickr when I get them chance to upload it. Um, this picture is neat because this picture, I think I took it. Um, it was over the edge of the mountain. It didn't really come out very well. Not as well as I thought it would, but it is over the edge of the mountain. Very neat. All right, these pictures were taken sideways, and these were taken using... Um, Ilford FP4 Plus, which is 125 speed film. 4.5 by 6 frame makes the image 4.5 centimeters by 6 centimeters, which is closest ratio you can get to 35 millimeter film. Um, but um, So I hold the camera sideways and took the pictures. Um, and uh, just a bunch of side exposed pictures. A um, few ones. And this one had my neck strap in it, so you could see that. And uh, this one tree, I took a picture of this random dead tree, and I thought it was pretty interesting to take a picture of, because it's just this random tree out of nowhere that has no leaves on it. So I took a picture of the tree, and it came out on the film. So yeah, this is Ilford FP4, 125 speed film. Last roll, Skyline Drive number six. I don't think I said the other ones, but I think you can uh, see that on the uh, top. Um, this was taken with, I, I thought, I don't know why I stopped it writing the film on it, because I should have wrote the film on this one. This is Arista Ultra 400, um, another school brand, same thing. Um, Ilford is not school brand, by the way, it's an official company brand. School, what I mean by school brand is the brand we use at school. Um, and uh, these are some uh, the pictures on top of the mountain. I like these pictures where like this uh, girder, this uh, thing that protrudes out the side, I like those kind of pictures. Uh, there's the Facebook picture. That's the one I did for Facebook. Um, group picture, family, uh, more mountain pictures, and that one is a tree picture. Uh, it's a, no, I tried taking a picture like a butterfly. That one didn't come out right, but it did, uh, it did capture a butterfly. Um, there and that, and another one. There's a dead tree in that one, too. So currently, it is the exact date of October, um, October 8th. 2015 it's about 5 p.m. by now and the next time I'll be coming back to you guys is possibly 7 6 7 in the morning at on October 9th 2015 so that's when I'll be coming back to you guys at all right guys so right here are the sleeves um, inside it contains a disc and uh, a positive of each image and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys what the images look like in positive form because I don't want to be mean because I want to I want to show you guys it when it get uploaded so these CDs contain the positive versions of all this stuff um, so I got this film developed for 11 bucks, and that's a pretty good deal. 11 bucks for scans, web upload, um, and negatives back are a really good deal. But, yep guys, that is all the film I have, and that is pretty much it for this video. But of course the video will continue tomorrow, in my world it will continue tomorrow. Um, by the time you guys watch this, it might be Saturday, or it might be the same day I made the video for tomorrow. Thanks so much for helping me with this campaign. You does not know how much I appreciate it. It is really fun to get this campaign doing it and sending the film in, guys. I really appreciate it. And you cannot understand how much it means to me that you guys helped out. And I am very grateful for your guys' help. And uh, that's why I'm going to be uploading the, uh, um, uploading the, um, 
uh, what is you, how you say it, I'm going to be uploading the uh, pictures pretty soon, you guys get to see them, and any, um, any guys who liked it and watched the campaign but didn't pay for it, you guys will get the link, and people who have donated will get exclusive download to my photos, so I'll send them an email, you guys get a copy of the pictures for free. Yeah, but guys, thank you, and I will see you guys in the, uh, uh, tomorrow, quote unquote. Buenos dias, users of YouTube and watchers alike. Welcome to part two of dropping mail. Second packet, well not part two, but part two of this YouTube video I just did. Anyway, it is about 8, 14, 13 in the morning, somewhere around there. And um, I'm on my way to our USPS mailbox in another neighborhood that's fairly close to mine. And I'm also on my way safe Safeway. So technically this can be considered another travel log, except I'm not going to document my journey to into Safeway. And I'm just going to stop the video right after I put this in the mailbox. But guys, this is it. I'm on my way to drop off the last, uh, oh, film. Special thanks to George M for finishing off the campaign. And because of him and you guys, this is now going in to the mailbox. And this is the last roll packet of film containing six rolls of 120 to be uh, delivered. So here's the mailbox here. United Postal Service, United States Postal Service, own a government, it's a government uh, box here. So technically if I hit this or mi misuse it, it is government property. Some of the people I've met didn't know that USPS actually is a government company. I don't know. Maybe you could say if you work for the USPS, you work for the government, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in here, guys. <laughs> Goodbye, and I will see you in a week. All right, it's gone. The post office should come and pick it up at about 2 p.m., which is pretty early. So that's good. Last collection in this area is 5 p.m. All right, guys. Um, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next update where I talk about all the negatives that came back. Um, guys, it's been an awesome campaign, and I'm glad we got it finished, and I just thank you guys so much for helping me out. And, uh, you guys will see those negatives be coming up in less than two weeks, trust me. Uh, I promise they will be up in less than two weeks, including the ones I just put into the darkroom. As long as there's nothing bad that happens. Guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you back at my house yesterday. Yep, I'm going back in time to yesterday where you will see me finish this YouTube video. And that is it, guys. I'll catch you guys later. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. And go fund me, guys. Goodbye. And I hope that film wishes me luck, and I wish it luck. Guys, see you later, and have a good one. All right, guys, that's it for this uh, episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. slash uh, GoFundMe. Uh, it's probably like a 20-minute long video by now. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> I had something in my throat. That wasn't very tasty. But guys, thank you anyway for watching this episode of GoFundMe and Daniel's videos and etc. And I guys, thank you again for helping out. Um, like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you hated it. Comment, subscribe, leave a comment. I just said that already. Um, favorite, anything you guys do on YouTube to make and GoFundMe to make the both of them do the thing. But guys, thanks for watching. And I guys, again, I can't thank you enough for this. Um, but guys, I'll see you guys later. And um, I appreciate all the help you guys have provided for me. And uh, I never thought I'd get the film sent in. And you guys helped. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you family. Thank you friends. Thank you people. But guys, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, but guys, the next one will probably be the video where I talk about the next negatives that come back from um, um, the darkroom. Which will possibly be sometime during the next week. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.